Good morning, everyone. My name is Bella Hawker, and I'm a ninth grader at New Hanover High School. I am so excited to be with you here today and to share a story about our youth first, 1 Timothy 4.12. Let no one despise you for your youth, but be thou an example of believers in the world, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. I want to share with you a little story that my mom has reminded me of time and time again about a trip when I was maybe six or seven years old, and she had this photo of me. We were on a trip to Salt Lake City, Utah to go snow skiing, and I guess I had previously been to a church camp or Sunday school, and I learned how to make rip crosses. I apparently wanted to share them with everyone in the airport, so I just plopped down on the airport floor and made as many as possible, just so I could give them out to people. In our verse today, it tells us no matter how young we are, we should always be an example to others in what we say, how we act, and what we do. My mom reminds me that she and dad asked me what I was doing, handed out pieces of paper to strangers all over the airport, and I informed her, I'm spreading the love of Jesus, mama. She told me she was a little bit nervous about how anyone could react, but she I put a smile on so many travelers in that airport that day, spreading my love for Jesus. I have made little kits for you with instructions on how to make rip crosses. I hope that you can enjoy them with family and friends and have fun making them with God in mind. God keeps doing immeasurably more than we ask for or imagine. So let's respond to his generosity by being an example from him to others. Amazing things happen when we do. Will you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for continuing to bless and comfort us. And that way we always give you the glory that we bow our heads in humble motion to offer our praise and gratitude. Open your eyes to the gift of everlasting grace that you give us as we witness about your power and your word to others, no matter our age. To him be the glory and power forever and ever. Amen.